Hey there guys, what's going on? Nick Scott here for Gaming of Stuff. It is Tuesday the 12th of November and it's time for another instalment of Tapped Out Tuesday. Taking a look at what's been going on in our Springfield this week. So apologies first off guys, I, when I posted the, the new latest update um, that came out last week um, that I initially missed the, the normal stuff. Um, this is for Millhouse's dad. Um, so um, yeah, apologies guys that that was split into two. It wasn't until I actually got going on the quests that I actually found out that there was more stuff because there wasn't actually a new bit flagged up um, on this section here. Um, there was on the premium item stuff but there wasn't on this so that's what made me think it was a premium item only update. So apologies guys that that happened and thank you very much to the YouTube user. I haven't got their name to hand who actually pointed out that you know we should have that update and when I looked into it it was there so yes. So guys leaning on from that our first build is here and it is the bachelor's arm bachelor arms of course this is where Millhouse's dad lives um, and the swimming pool is now corpse free of course um, he's currently off doing quests and tasks I think he's kind of like working at the school at the minute yeah he's working at the school with groundskeeper Willie um, so we're working through that it looks like it's going to be quite a big quest as well guys because I mean, I'm only on part four at the minute, and the next buildable item is um, just going to go over to it here. Isn't available, I think, till later on in that quest. Uh, yeah, part 15. So there's at least going to be at least 15 parts to that quest, guys. Um, but we'll just keep playing on through it, and hopefully, by the time we get our episode next week, um, we will have that all unlocked, and I'll be able to show you exactly what it is and uh, what I have done with it. Um, I haven't done anything on with my crusty land this week guys um I think after the the madness of Halloween I've just been kind of just playing normally this week so that's why I haven't got anything there what I do want to show you though guys is what I did if you remember what I did with my Halloween quest I I said I wanted to um try and make them look like they were hidden in the forest some of the buildings and different bits and pieces there and um now that they've taken like the Halloween skin off and the, the the trees are back with tree leaves on it, you can actually see the effect of that. So here we go, look guys, my spaceship and my gingerbread house and my pumpkin house are kind of like buried away in the trees and in the bushes. So um, you know, kind of like a horror movie esque type thing where you know if you go down to the woods and in your own you're going to find something really bizarre and weird. So that's that's kind of like the effect I was looking for. I don't think it looks too bad, guys. Um, uh, let me know what you think. Do you think it looks okay? Do you recommend you know anything else I could do to make it look a bit eerie? I'm not sure I could. Maybe there's some different types of trees that you would use, um, some like spookier looking trees or you know grander looking trees. Um, other than that, though, guys, that is pretty much all that we've done this week. Um, I'm trying. I'm running out of ideas, really, guys. I might put like a big river in down the back here or something and buy some more land. I mean I'm up to nearly one and a half million dollars now on tapped out so um, I mean or I might just save it and might go for some of the other stuff that's like one two and three million dollars so I might you know look at buying the popsicle tower or the magnifying glass or the excavator to nowhere who knows guys what I might buy but um, yes guys um, I will do something with it and as always there will be another installment of tapped out Tuesday um, keep your ideas coming in for the Krusty Land. Um, you know, I've got some ideas thanks to the the guys who did comment on that that I might um, you know put some more trees and bushes and things in there to spruce that up a little bit. So keep your ideas coming in, guys. If you've got any thoughts of what I could do to my Krusty Land to make it look better, and I'm sure to be um, take them into consideration and potentially implement them. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like. If you've got any comments, questions, or feedback about this or any other video, guys, please leave it in the comment section below. And if this is your first time here, or if you've just not done it before, why not subscribe to my channel, guys? You get all my videos straight to your subscriber feed. You won't miss out on a single video I put out there. Once again, guys, thank you very much for watching. I've been Nick Scott, and if you're gaming other stuff, and until next time, happy gaming.